You're all in for an amazing treat. All of you are going to the place that will be the home of the winner of Hell's Kitchen. Oh, shh! We're going to Vegas! That's right, Las Vegas. You are in for an extraordinary VIP experience. I'm putting you up in the private villa of the Nobu Hotel. <laughs> oh, fuck, girl. Why are you standing here staring at me? Your private plane is waiting. Oh, my God! <laughs> you you <laughs> Men, today I've offered your services to a local vendor who provides fortune cookies to Chinese restaurants all over Los Angeles. So guess what you'll be doing? Stuffing fortune cookies. Making them first. Uh, guys, what are you waiting for? Go make a fortune. Cookie. Enjoy Vegas, ladies, because it's going to be the last time there, because my ass is going to be living there here soon enough and not just visiting for the night. That's it. Fuchsia says, men do not fail, they give up trying. Ooh. I ain't never been to fucking Vegas. I wanted that fucking Vegas trip. I'm so pissed right now. It's not just any loss. It's a trip to Vegas. Scott Lee, carry your weight at least, bro. Come on, let's get to it. Half-ass doesn't work for me. Scott Lee, man, let's get to work. This villa is absolutely breathtaking. I'm calling Vegas home. That executive chef position is calling my name. It's amazing. This is what I was put in this world for. <laughs> I'm totally feeling like, like royalty right now. Like, just call me Queen Mia. <laughs> go ahead, go get changed. We're gonna have dinner in a few minutes. Okay. The toilets wash your butt. <laughs> and the toilet has a blow dryer for your stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm feeling fresh, and my ass is feeling fresh, too. <laughs> Damn, I'm right. Ladies, look at this. Look at you guys. Look at the view. One day, that marquee is going to say, welcome, HK18 winner, Arielle Fox. Hi! Cheers, Woo! Woo! Four hours of balls deep in fucking fortune cookies? I feel like I could cry. My back's hurting pretty good right now. My mom will hold it together. I'm held together, dude. We've been doing this for hours. We're not even close to filling up the bucket. I'm fucking dying. I'm fucking dying. Boiling a couple of eggs, man. Really, Scott Lee? Taking product that's supposed to be used for something Chef asked us to do and making yourself a snack with it? Scott Lee doesn't care about anybody but himself. I to pass out. Guys, if we start breaking down now. Come on with that shit, man. I'm putting it out there before Fuck, it starts. Just, Fuck it, just go, just go. Because goddamn, you're going to make it a fucking argument. I'm not man. making it an argument, man. Fuck, I'm saying. Yo. If this carries all day, this is what's going to affect dinner service later. Let's keep it up and positive. Trevor, shut the fuck up, make cookies, just keep working. Yo, we don't want to do this shit. The more you talk, the more it's going to be fucking annoying, man. Wow, I just said one thing, bro. Come on, fellas. I don't want to hear that today. No, I'm just trying to keep a positive outlook. That's it. Stop running around and get something done. He's taking me off. Quit being a dickhead or go home. The women have returned from Las Vegas. But the mood in the dorms is less than inviting. We got a half hour, I'm gonna lay down. Dude, you could cut the tension with a knife going through there. I know. That's why I'm not talking. Scott Lee is just a fucking douchebag the entire time. He fucking was taking eggs that we're supposed to use for the fucking cookies, boiling eggs and making him and Brett snacks. He went here and made sliders and brought lunch out for himself. Like, no. Yeah. 
I feel for Trevor because Scott Lee, he just, the chip on his shoulder is like huge. I don't know, I'm just sick of it. It's gonna fester and it's gonna be like a cancer for service. I'm worried about tonight.